Peter, it seems that to understand the brain, uh, people use the metaphor of the time. It uh, used to be the clock in the early 20th century, and then the telephone exchange, or uh, then the hologram, now it's the computer. Uh, uh, the, uh, the concept of the brain being like a computer, and that it's the way to understand it is a, a computational model. Uh, you disagree with that, why? Well, let me just take a step back and say that uh, I think metaphors are useful, but they're dangerous because two things can be similar in some ways, but very different in other ways. If I were to say, for example, well, you know, neurons function just like toilets. You know, there's a threshold and you get beyond the threshold and then bam, you know. <laughs> if, if you take it too far and say, well, actually, neurons are just like little toilets, <laughs> you, would, you would think that's laughable. That's, of course, ridiculous, right? Well, it turns out that, you know, computers and brains uh, both process inputs and they have outputs, and so they're analogous in some ways, but they're radically different in other ways. Mm. And so the metaphor breaks down, and if we take the metaphor too far, it becomes absurd. And so the brain is, in fact, very different from a computer as computers currently exists, uh, exist. Uh, computers um, don't have consciousness. Computers have a software-hardware distinction, whereas, whereas brains uh, don't. Um, and uh, brains are re rewiring themselves all the time. In fact, if you consider rapid synaptic uh, reweighting, you know, it's not changing its, uh, what axons are connected to what axons, but it's changing the weighting on it. It's changing what I call the epiconnectivity of neural circuits. Then brains are re rewiring themselves on the millisecond time scale. Mm -hmm. And computers are just not doing that. So the metaphor breaks down. And so we have to recognize that the metaphor is limited. And I think we run into real problems when we say, in fact, the brain is, in fact, a computer. It's a computational device. And I can show you that, in fact, it's not. Right? The essence of a computer is a certain kind of ar information pro processing architecture based upon um, what uh, is the von Neumann architecture. But it's built upon the idea of an algorithm, where a single input uh, leads to a binary decision and then a single output. And you can kind of uh, create a kind of pseudo-parallelism by creating lots of these um, algorithmic processors running together. Right, but right. for each of the CPUs, it's a single input, binary decision, single output. Now, a neuron is nothing like that. A neuron uh, is taking hundreds, if not thousands of inputs across its dendritic arbors. And uh, it's then sending outputs to many synapses. So it's not a single input binary decision single output, it's many inputs, a uh, criterial assessment of those inputs that can be met in multiple different ways, not a single way, multiple outputs. And uh, the brain is built around these very different kinds of processors than CPUs.